This video will explain the Budlet Report. The Budlet Report is a budget detail report, including all the transactions that make up the amounts on the budget accounts that you have access to. So for our example here, the Drama Club, uh, our Budlet Report is going to give us all the transaction detail on the budget accounts underneath the Drama Club. So when I click on the Budlet, it's going to bring it up in PDF format. And the first thing I'm going to see is the actual title page here where it tells me how this report was sorted. So it's going to be sorted by Fund Special Cost Center, which the 300 913A is my actual fund number, my cash account. And then within there, the appropriation level. So from there then, it will list, it'll sort it by the budget accounts within that appropriation and then with those budget accounts it's going to sort it by transaction date and then if we have multiple transactions on the same day by PO number. And then you notice the date range for this report and this is dependent on how the fiscal office is going to run the budlet for you. They may include just the month, transactions for just the current month, or they may include the transactions since the beginning of the fiscal year. So in our case here, it's from the beginning of the fiscal year, from July 1st through the current date. So from there then, I'm going to start looking at the report and reading it. Here's my cash account. Here's my first appropriation level, purchase services for a dramatics. And then over here, it shows what my expendable amount is for that entire appropriation account. The next set then is the actual budget accounts underneath that appropriation account. So here's my first one. It's hired musicians and set construction fees for drama. 300, 413, 419, 913A with an OPU of 002. So for this particular budget account then, it also way on the right hand side is going to show me what my budgeted amount is for this account. It's a thousand dollars for the uh, current fiscal year. So from there then, I am going to go and look at the actual first transaction processed against this account. So the first line of this is going to identify what type of transaction. And where I find that easily is underneath the activity column, it says expend, and this stands for an expenditure. So an expenditure was created. So from there then, I can go le read left to right, and it shows me the, the, that the expenditure occurred on February 2nd, and that this number right here is the transaction or the check number tied to this. So it was an actual warrant type of check that was issued, and $400, here's the check number again, as well as the invoice number tied to it. And then the second uh, subsequent line is the PO information. So here's the purchase order and the item number on the PO tied to that check and invoice. The date of that and the description. So this is the PO item description, hired musician. Here's the vendor number and the vendor name tied to it. And it shows obviously that it was completely paid. So if I had any other transactions against this account since the beginning of the fiscal year, they would be listed underneath here. But this looks to be the only transaction against this budget account. So it's going to give me a total here. Obviously, all we've had was one expenditure, so no encumbered amounts. A total expended amount of $400. So if you take the $1,000 expendable minus $400, we still have $600 left to spend out of this budget account. And then if we move on then, we'll go to the next budget account underneath this drama club. And it's for rentals, royalty fee for drama. Here is the budget account. And then way off to the right hand side is our expendable figure. We're planning on spending $2,500 out of that account for the fiscal year. And then from there, it's going to list all the transactions, starting with the oldest one, 
this was back in August and the first thing I notice is that it says encumber underneath the activity column. This is an encumbrance which means that it hasn't been expended yet so we have an outstanding amount. So here is my amount $155 and this number right here is the PO number. And again, looking down here, because obviously it's a PO number, it's not a check yet because it's still an encumbered amount. It hasn't been expended yet. Here it's going to show the PO number again. Here's the item. And here's the date, date of the PO, and the description of the PO item, royalties for fall show, and here's the actual vendor number and the vendor name. And then way off to the right hand side here we'll see the status and the status is new order meaning that this is a purchase order and nothing's been done to it since then. It hasn't been invoiced and it hasn't been processed for a check so it's a brand new PO. Nothing's happened to it so far. And then it moves on to the next transaction against this budget account. And this one is an expenditure. And it goes through then and talks about that and lists all the information about that expenditure. So way down at the bottom then, I get my total for the account, $155 encumbered right now, and $923.89 expended so far for this account for the fiscal year. So again, if I take my $2,500 expendable, what I plan on spending for the year, minus what I have encumbered right now, outstanding purchase order amounts, minus what has been expended so far, my unencumbered balance then is $1,421.11. That's how much I have left to spend out of this budget account for the current fiscal year. And it goes on and on through the rest of them. So when I scroll down and get way down to the bottom of my report, I'm going to see some grand total amounts here. And the grand totals are going to include what I currently have encumbered against this fund, this drama fund, what currently has been expended against this as well. If you would like to see more um, of just maybe the amounts tied to these budget accounts and not so much all the transaction data against it, you may want to refer to a BUDSUM report instead.